welcoming you in the park for an outdoor stretch session, especially for runners, to cool down and stretch after your runs, stretching your hamstrings, your glutes, and your both legs. So let's get started standing tall, palms facing forward, Tadasana, and in place. Inhale, let's lend it up. And as you exhale, bring the palms to heart center, hinge forward from your hips, holding forward fully. Maybe you want to bend the knees to get the belly on the thighs. And slowly straighten the legs up. Exhale, release down. Return as a full forward step. We move with the breath a couple of times. Inhaling. Exhaling. And slowly, let's roll up. One good prayer at a time. Let the breath travel up to your calves. Through your hamstrings, breathe, pause, and stretch back up. And exhale, let's repeat that. Hold it down. Inhaling, rising up slowly, letting your fingertips lock up in front of your legs. Sending the breath to anywhere that's holding tight. Stretching up. And exhale, hands come back to heart center. Inhale, lend it up. Start opening the chest up, and this time as you come down, scoop the hands out, forward, upward, release down. You start to feel a deeper stretch at the back of your legs. Let's bend the right knee, adding in variations of Uttanasana. Release the right hand down, straighten the left leg up, and twist up. Breathe, hold. Inhale, exhale, smile, and let's switch sides. Bending the opposite leg now and breathe in. Holding, this is two breaths. Two, two, one. Exhale, release down. And this time let's roll up with longer breaths. Breathe, inhale, extended hands pose. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Holding down once again. And rising up. All of these exercises are without a mat, so you can do outdoors, anytime, anywhere. Let's get the hands to the hips. Cross the right foot in front of the left. Stretch up, open the chest up. Once again, I encourage you to first come down halfway to flatten the back out. And then empty the belly out as you release down fully. Trying to bring the chin to the knees or as close as possible. Inhale. Let's rise up. One long breath up this time. Reach up. Exhaling. Hands come to heart center to your hips. Crossing over to the opposite side. Lengthen up. Breathe. Stretch forward. Stick the butt out. Exhale. Release down. Every exhale, try to hinge deeper forward. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. And rise up with control, with the breath. Breathe, exhale, hands to heart center, pause, reset. Let's bring the hands to the hips. Let's lift one foot off the mat, crossing over, crossing the foot out. Start to sink down, Utkatasana, chair pose, single legged, Utapada, Utkatasana. Option to just stay here with the hands extended. Or you can tap down for a deeper stretch. Breathe. Inhale. Exhale. Four, three, two, one. Inhaling slowly. Come back up. And if you wish to go a little deeper, extend the leg out. Maybe reach for your toes or the outside of your foot. Inhale. Stretch up. Hold. Hold. Hold, breathe, and slowly take this foot back behind you. Reaching up, stretching the front quad. Breathe. Gentle variation of the dancer pose. And exhale, release it down. Bring the hands back to heart center. And let's take it to the opposite side. Lifting the right knee up, hug it in. Cross the foot over. Standing figure four. Sinking down. Single legged chair, breathe. Option to go deeper, tap it down, working on your right foot, stretching the right glute, breathe. 
hand, you can draw, come back up, inhale, exhale, reach for the opposite foot, stretch it out, bring the hand to hip to stabilize, lift your hip, very good for your hip flexors as well, take the point in front of you to focus, and with control, take the leg back, stretch it up, hold, Option to keep the front hand extended or in your hip and release it down. Stretch it back up and exhale. Fall forward. Let it go. This time, let's grab our elbows. Shake your head, yes or no. Go a little deeper with the next exhale. Switch the person of your elbows. Breathe. Let the top part of your body hang absolutely loose. Release the hands. Maybe this time you can slide the hands under your shoes or your feet, depending on what you're wearing. Go a little deeper and slowly release the hands up. And this time we'll come up rolling. One good again here. One breath out of here. And come back up to center. Let's stretch over towards the left. Inhale. And over to the opposite side. Come back in. Hands come back to hips. Let's extend the right foot forward. Take the left foot back. Preparing for putting it forwards. Inhale. Let's start with a crescent lunge. Breathe. Lift the back heel up. And stretch. And slowly lift up with the hip, straightening the legs. Drop the back foot down. Release the hands out forward, releasing the chin onto your knees or as close as you can reach. And let's move with the breath dynamically, stretching up. Crescent lunge, Anjaneyasana. Exhaling, folding forward. Breathe and release. Staying steady on the back. Outer ankle and the back heel, keeping the front foot for grounded. Hold and curl. Slowly with control, frame the front foot, bring the back foot in slightly. Then let's take the left hand outside the right foot, open it up, rotate it, triangle, body of the front, the front, the front. Inhale, exhale. Maybe you want to add a bind with the top hand. Looking up behind you. Breathe. Excellent steps to the right leg go for the entire right again. Bring it back in. Exhale and we'll come up slowly with the breath. Reach up. Inhaling. Exhale. Bring the hands to heart center. And let's come back down. Press and lunge. And Asana once again. And this time, let's plant the palms inside the right foot as you open the right hand out. Breathe and gently rock front and back, little lunge. Keep the shoulders lifted, keep looking forward. Hold, 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 stretch back. Inhaling, exhale. If you wish to go a little deeper, keep the right hand out. Reach back to the back ankle for a bit. Excellent steps to the Good. Keep opening the right knee with the breath, working on your right hip. Exhale, let's bring it all down. And let's kick back. Slide forward, pausing in plank. And exhaling, lift from your back on your tippy toes slowly with control. Release the heels down wherever they reach comfortably, keeping the weight even between the hands in the front and the feet in the back. Body in a strong breathe. Inward breathe. Other Mukheshwanasana. Down breath. Kick back with the right foot. Bend with the knee. Tap the knee outside the right elbow. And let's open up, dropping the right foot out. Fallen triangle. Lifting the right foot. Stretch. Breathe. Rise with the breath. Hold steady. Exhale. Bring it back in. Kick it back, lend in, cross it over to the opposite elbow, drop it out, fallen star. 
patita para asana rising up stretching fully keep lifting the inner waist inhaling exhale bring it all back in slide forward for a plank hold rise back up down dog other position let's cross the right foot over across the left in a down dog stretching deep inhale exhale switch sides and with control let's kick back stretch it out let's take it to the opposite side left knee to left elbow drop it out open rotate it open exhale release it down kick back to the right in open Falling forward, stretch up, reach up to the top. Exhale, release it back down. Kick back, breathe, bring the knee forward. And let's rise up, Anjanasana, crescent lunge. Exhaling, releasing down, straightening the front leg. Reach forward, release the back foot down. Exhaling, pyramid forward. Travel back up with your breath. Inhale, bending the front knee. Turn the back foot in. And exhale once again. Let's straighten it out. Every time, gonna go a little deeper. Can be a little tough to find the grounding in the shoes. Try to plant the toes, not clasping them, trying to plant them down. Planting the full foot, all four corners down. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Inhale, let's come back up. Anjana Asana, crescent lunge. And exhale, release down once again. And this time, we'll take the right hand outside. Inhaling, rotate your joints. If you feel unsteady, bring the back foot in slightly. Maybe one side feels different than the other. Stretch, stretch, stretch. And exhale, release it out. And this time, as you bend the front knee, stretch the back leg out, walk the left hand in, right hand in, and open the left knee out. Lizard lunge, rocking front and back with the breath. Three, two, two, one. Maybe release the back knee down or hold steady. Inhale, the left hand up, reach for the back foot, the back leg foot, press it in. Careful with the knee. So this quad stretch and a hip opener, inhale, exhale, bring it all back in. And this time, let's bring the right foot in, seated, deep squat, mala. Hands to heart center, the elbows are pressing, the knees out. Breathe, inhale, exhale, we release the hands down and slowly bring the feet back in. And roll up one leg down. Inhale, stretching up. And exhale, open the feet out. Come back down in a yoga squat. We'll do this a couple more times. Breathe. And we'll add a bind here. Trying to reach for the back hands, releasing down, opening the chest up. Bring the hands back in, forward. Heel toe the feet in. Rise up with the breath, stretch it, open the chest up, bring the hands to heart center, start to open the feet out, and sink down, hold in here, breathe, relaxing the body, relaxing the mind, and slowly exhale, start to rise back up, this time we pause halfway, hold, Bring the hands to foot. Let's do a wide forward fold, extending the arms out, airplane arms stretching out. Breathe as wide as you can go, keep lifting the kneecaps up. Hold, hands to hips, hinge down halfway, prasarita, abhikasana. Option to release the head down, take the hands back behind you, palms are facing up. 
If it feels too much, keep the hands forward, stay halfway. Really good stretch for your inner thighs. Breathe. With control, walk the left hand. Right hand over towards the left ankle and stretch up. Maybe taking a bind for handy. Variation. One leg is not full. Let's take it to the other side. Reaching over with the breath. Inhaling. Exhale. Reach back up. And circle the hands around and down. This time, let's keep the hands on either ankle. Breathe. And slowly, let's roll up once again with control. Five, four, three, two, one. Reach back up. Hands come to heart center. Heel toe the feet in slightly. Start to bend the left knee. And with control, release down. Sandhasana. Option to straighten the right foot up, releasing the left hand down. Inhale the right hand up. Breathe. Holding here. If you wish to go deeper, release the right hand towards the right toes. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You could use a block if you're somewhere indoors or if your heels are lifted. Just stay here. What you're working on is stretching. The right leg. Inhale, hands come to heart center and with control, staying low. Let's take it to the opposite side. Once again, option one, hands to heart center or release the right hand out or down. Inhale, left hand up and release it forward. Breathe, hopefully enjoying the stretch in the extended leg without much pain. And inhale, Come back in. This time, let's stay low. You keep the knees slightly bent. Toes pointed out. With control, come back up. Deep squat, sumo squat. Yoga, goddess pose. Breathe, trying to stay 90 degrees. Opening out. And inhaling, rising up with the breath. And this time, open out a little wider for Prasarita Padodasana. But we'll take the hands behind us, palms are clasped, open the chest and start to release. Exhale and roll out. So then bring to the earth, bring it wide as you can. Breathe, inhale, exhale, release the right hand. Slowly rise back up to the breath. And heel to your feet in as you start to stretch up. Inhaling, exhaling, last fold forward. Maybe you're cutting your feet out here. And here we go, hold steady. And let's rise back up. With the breath, stretching up, smiling. Exhale, closing the practice, hands coming down to heart center. Thank you. I hope you can also share your stories, your journeys as we grow and flow together. And I look forward to seeing you soon again. Bye.